Ayaka food away, trying to get off to a hot start. And it's a tough hole to get off to that hot start. It's a tough tee shot, tough second shot. But what again you can do and just roll in a bomb. Playing with Leona McGuire, who's finished second the last couple of years here. Can she go back to back to start round three? Much more straightforward putt. Takes her to 13 under par. The defending champion, Jennifer Cupcho for Eagle at eight. And really, Jennifer knows that you have to take advantage of these par fives. Big crowds out there again. This is the leader, Ayaka, boot away for par at the fourth. And Kay Cockrell is watching. Well, that was after a very poor approach. And Chip saves par with that long putt. Four holes for Ayaka, boot away. Let's go to the fifth. And Hyoju Kim, a player to keep your eye on. And coming into this tournament in some seriously good form. 111 yards adjusted to add a half a club to 116. Didn't hit her last wedge very solidly. I think she uh, made up for the last wedge right there. <laughs> it showcases her talent with this club even more. to be for her first birdie today. And a little slow out of the gates. Our location just at the very front of the green today. There's a little backstop behind it the players can use to get the ball close. Right. 117 yards of the hole. Little, little bit of wind, just hurting slightly. Basically, it's had the same yardage for the last right. three approach shots. This was just a moment ago at six in the final pair. The third shot for Leona McGuire. Suddenly, five shots off the lead. Got to try and make something happen. Okay. Just like that. If the like putt is not working, use the wedge. There's last week's winner at the ShopRite LPGA Classic, Ashley Buhai for birdie. And look out. Here comes the South African with four worldwide wins. It's her signature move, Karen. She'll step between the ball and the hole and then step back towards it. Shioju Kim, her third at the eighth. Two hundred and twelve to the hole. Able to hit this pretty high, drawing it. Uh -huh. Oh, has a really good line. Oh, yeah. Just around that uh, finger, the bunker that juts out. And being inside the ropes again, there's kind of a little sanctuary away from all the media attention that, that you've been getting. But towards the end of the week, the, the stresses and strains of contending and trying to win kind of do make you a little bit tired. Just a moment ago, the third at the par 5 eighth for Leona McGuire. Six paces shy of the front of the green on a little upslope. Plenty of green to work with. The wind is helping, and also these greens are firming up, so she should get some hit and release. I got the signal eight iron. Seems like a pretty big eight. all the release that, that she was expecting. And that wind's starting to pick up a little more strongly right now as she's over the ball. Shouldn't expect too much stop with that, that downwind, Kay. That's coming in pretty oh, hot with a good line. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. 58 yards to the front. much just not able to really be precise and control that well off of that awkward lot these are the shots you practice all the time nice shot. not too far away and Amy Yang with Angela Stanford watching yeah the first part of this putt's gonna go down needs to be careful with the speed tend to win these things, so we'll see. Back at 12. 
Dead downwind. Hit it high. She did. You know. Stop. Softly. Softly. Nice shot. That's Good that's ball. A, that's that's what they get it. And she hit what seemingly was a good pitching wedge in, and now gonna have to grind to get this up and down. Oh, what a touch of class right there. Just keep it in the middle of the green. Don't mess with the right side of the screen, but the right hole location. Dave, yeah, just that. Good. Yeah, really good, huh, Karen? 15 paces to the edge of the green, then it should release out. Oh, got plenty of, plenty of hit on that one. Flew it out about eight yards further than she would have liked. She's two for three on bunker shots this week. This is the first bunker shot she's been in today. And that really sat down quicker than she would have liked. Hardest hole on the course, over at 17. Speaking of hard, this doesn't look easy for Buhai. To the 18th, and Ashley Buhai, second shot. Always in the back left today. Right where this one's headed. Yep. Should have a legal eagle chance right there. Yep, taking the low route, kind of a modified bump and run. She got it up to the plateau, but that's a good seven, eight feet short. Maybe try to kill it into the edge or the the upslope. Yeah. Oh, boy, that sat down really quickly. Another element that makes this hole so difficult is when I walked up to her ball. She's 122 yards out. That's a nine iron. I can't see the top of the flag. So I hope she had a good line. She, had, she was a little bit right of, of where the flag was. Back at the 15th tee shot for food away. More aggressive line going at the flag stick. Oh, I think she's going <laughs> to like that. Uh-huh. Third shot from behind the 16th for Hyoju Kim. At the 17th, Amy Yang from uh, just right of the fairway. Yeah, and with the way the club has to go through her path through the ball, it's fine. It's not a bad lie. Cut wide. Great shot. I'll say. Third shot for our leader, Ayaka Fudaway at 16. Downwind. Nice flat lie. A lovely sounding strike. Yep. Could be to make it a five way tie for the lead. Amy Yang tied for the lead. Second shot at 18. She has 152 to the front. That's the number she's looking at with an eight iron. No reason to go past this whole location downwind. Be a two putt birdie for Amy Yang, her second of the back nine, and she has the lead outright at the moment. 10, 12 paces or so to the hole. Really good. Oh, nearly perfect. Some sort of modified pitch and pitch and release, but maybe just took a little bit too much lofted approach to that Karen that was soft hands, and that's oof, that's a good 12 plus feet short. Eight hole runs in the same direction as she's playing this shot right now. Well, she got a oh, nice hold. little kick right there, and maybe she deserves that with a couple of bad breaks in the 
previous holes.